Uh, Lucas in Texas. Hi, Lucas. What's on your mind? Good morning, Dan. How you doing today? Good, sir. Good. Hey, best and worst of the weekend. My worst is uh, my Texas A&M Aggies. They fell just a little short in the College World Series semifinals. Uh, but my best, I would say, uh, my wife and I, we sat down and watched a new movie called Hustle. A uh, great performance by a current and former member of the DP show. So uh, that led me to a quick question. Uh, without giving any plot away, uh, McLovin had a scene where he had to travel away from the show, go be on a movie set, deal with the stress, all, all that stuff. Dan, your scene uh, did not require that. So my question would be, uh, if you could be in a movie, be in a big movie, but ha- but it has to, you have to go be on a set to deal with all that stress, would you? I mean, like a, a con would be you don't get to hang out with the Sandman, but a pro might be, you know, things like shoes or, you know, hey, even shorts might be optional, you know? Um, you know, Sandler understood that it made sense for my cameo that I was going to do it in studio because I'm playing myself. McLovin, who is from Philadelphia, where the movie takes place, and McLovin, we gave him the day off, and he went down there so he could be uh, play a, a reporter in the movie. But going on set is great because then you get to interact with a lot of different people, and not just those who are in front of the camera, those who are behind the camera. Now, those are the fascinating people because a lot of these directors have directed a lot of other movies, and you know you get some of the role players, uh, you know, people who are supporting cast like me and you're able to talk to them. I mean, so many times I've been able to do that. I, Sandler thinks that I know everybody and I was doing, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry and we were in Los Angeles. So I show up, I just show up and Sandler is rehearsing a scene with Jessica Biel. I've never met Jessica Biel. I walk in and Sandler goes, uh, Jessica, you know, Danny, and you can see, you know, she's going, I have no idea who this is. And, and so she goes, uh, hi, I'm Jessica. And I go, oh, hi, I'm Dan. I'm uh, a sports guy, but I'm going to play a police officer. She goes, well, nice to meet you. And then that was it. He did the same thing when I saw Jennifer Aniston the first time. Danny, you know Jennifer. Uh, this, Danny's the sports guy. She goes, oh, hey, sports guy. And then Tom Cruise. I never met Tom Cruise. He goes, Cruise, you know Danny. And then, I mean, he did know me because he's a sports guy. But he's like, Cruz, you know Danny? And I'm like, uh, hi, hi, Tom. <laughs> yes. He- that Chrissy Teigen did that to me once at the DirecTV Super Bowl party. Yeah. You know, like she came in with John Legend. Yeah. And there was it was the year that uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce performed. Mm. And I want to say Kanye was there too, maybe. Mm. But anyway, uh, we're back at this area and Chrissy Teigen is there and she's like, oh yeah, yeah, Kim, you know Seton, right? It's Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Why in the hell would Kim Kardashian have any idea who the hell I am? But Chrissy Teigen's like, yeah, 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 you know Seton, right? And she was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Meghan Markle like, was in the Beach Bowl. She played in the game. It's wild. In New York, Meghan Markle. I go, I go back and I go, because we had all of these different swimsuit models and actresses, and there were a lot of people in, in those games playing, you know, it was uh, beach football. And I remember a friend said, you know, Meghan Markle, you've met Meghan Markle. I go, no, I haven't. Yes, you have. You met her at the beach ball. She was in the show Suits, I think, at the time, but nobody really knew her. Or she might have been in, uh, what was the show where they had um, uh, briefcases? I think it is Suits. I think you got it. No, 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 no. Oh. No, this is a game show. Oh. Make, let's make it. Make it uh... No. Deal or no deal. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Deal or no deal. Yes, Seton. It's crazy when you Google Meghan Markle right do I, now. Do I come up? Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, <laughs> her name doesn't come up anymore. Now her name, Megan Duchess of Sussex, yeah. comes up. Yeah. Markle doesn't even exist anymore. Now it's just Duchess. But she's not a Duchess anymore. Former actress. Yeah. But there were so many beautiful people there at the Beach Bowl. She didn't stand out. And it's she's like, oh, hey, so mean an ag doll. <laughs> yes, or whatever. I know. Hello. There, there'd be uh, a Ann V, a swimsuit model, <laughs> yeah. or uh, Kate Upton, and you're going, "What is going on Good here?" Grief. All of a sudden, Danny's a millionaire. Hey, hi, I'm the play-by-play announcer. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Our, our first beach ball. <laughs> so sad. I, I think it was Miami, like 12 years ago. This guy comes up, little guy with his dad. He goes, "Hey, I'm a big fan of the show." He starts talking to you, talking to us. He's like, "I love the show." And, 
we started talking to him, and we're like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm an actor. I'm like, oh, yeah, what are you working on? He goes, I just shot a new show. It's coming out soon. It's pretty cool. It's called Breaking Bad. It was Aaron Paul. <laughs> it was just before Breaking Bad broke. And he go, I go, what's the show? And someone was talking to him. You guys, I was listening. And he goes, it's a show about a chemistry teacher who becomes a meth dealer. I'm like, that's a terrible idea. I know. I'm thinking, it's no, a horrible idea. That's not, nobody's going to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's yeah. household name. Yeah. Yeah. The, those who went to the Beach Bowl and played in the Beach Bowl. Now, you had big names. Um, Serena Williams went to the Beach Bowl. She had high heels on walking in the sand. Paulie's walking her over. I'm with Carissa Thompson, and we're going to do an interview with Serena Williams. And it, it was uh, kind of amazing where you go, okay, she's got on high heels. And uh, can you guys fix your headphone? I don't know if you guys both uh, press the microphone button. Feels a little odd there. Um, but I remember Serena came over, and she had high heels on walking in the sand. And then uh, we were sitting down with Carissa Thompson and we were going to interview Serena Williams. So they had a lot of people because what would happen is DirecTV would go, if you play in the Beach Bowl, we'll get you tickets to the Super Bowl. And you would get a lot of people who would show up. Usually you would have somebody, who play, Warren Moon would be a quarterback uh, for one side. Jesse Palmer was in there, the you know who was the Bachelor, former NFL quarterback. Yeah, Paul. I can't tell you how stressful that three minutes of my life was Serena Williams. I had to walk her across sand. She had six inch heels on and she goes, she goes, don't let me roll. She goes, don't let me roll my ankle. I'm like, don't let me roll your ankle. You're the number one athlete on earth. And we're walking like she's a prom date. And I walk her over, put her, she goes up on the stage and she does a nice interview with you, I think in Kevin Frazier, right? And no, it's oh, Carissa Car Thompson. Carissa, right. When she's done, she has to get off the stage wearing the same heels. And the stage manager's like, uh, Miss Williams, I'll help you out. And she goes, no, 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 him, him. And she starts pointing to me and I help her out. But I was sweating from ankle to my head because I was like, if she rolls her ankle and she's out for six weeks, they're going to say, that idiot, let it happen. Didn't Fritzy, you had a meeting with Jennifer Lopez? I did. I was following a script and the script said, and I know things obviously change in real time, but that at one point during the uh, pregame, she's supposed to stop and do an interview. Um, and I don't know if I was working with Bonnie Bernstein. It was, it was, there was several different ones. It might have even been Carissa. And then there's some giant bodyguard gets in front of me as I'm about to stick my hand out and say, hi, Miss Lopez, you know, I'm here with, you know, the beach, you know, to do the interview. And, you know, he ain't doing nothing. I go, yeah. And then I'm, I'm actually showing him the script. But it says right here on page 28B <laughs> that you're supposed to stop and talk about No, he ain't doing no interview. I know what you're talking about. Huge security guy. Gigantic guy. Yes. And I'm thinking... Because we're we're waiting for J Lo because she's going to do an interview, and, and then all of a sudden we realize you know I producer talks to me in my ear uh, no J Lo interview, and then we get done with the Beach Bowl the football game, and then I saw Fritzy I said what happened with J Lo because uh, the uh, big security guy said she ain't doing anything and she was very nice and she smiled and she looked like she was about to come over then this giant individual got in front of the both of us <laughs> I don't know what you talk about I don't care what that thing says on your script there she ain't doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fritzy's invitation. Yeah. You got to step back. She ain't doing it. She's got to go forward now. <laughs> Remember, McLovin almost got knocked down by A Rod security <laughs> detail. I've never seen that dude that mad. We were at some party. I think wheels up the jet company, and A Rod and uh, um, J Lo were doing some type of workout promotion. They went over and they had like a, a, an entourage of people, a true entourage. There's had to be twelve people, at least four security people. They're leaving and they're walking out as if like. You know, like the president leaves a hotel. You ever see those videos? And this big dude just slams McLovin, almost like decleated him. And McLovin <laughs> starts following him. And you know, he would have used McLovin as a Q-tip. I mean, this, this guy was that big. Oh, but, my God. McLovin's still upset still. about that. He, you know, he hates A-Rod because his security detail nearly flattened him. But he still likes J-Lo, which is funny. Well, yeah. J-Lo. Uh, I don't know what we solved, but we did uh, waste like, uh, you know, 10 to 12 minutes there. Name dropping. But you know, imagine that Meghan Markle was right there in front of us and she wasn't anything special because everybody was special. And we didn't, we didn't, she wasn't famous. She was very beautiful, but she's just an actress in a show suits. And I'm going, oh, good for her. Yes, Eden. Remember the year Lil Wayne was going to like fight oh, the cameraman? He was going to fight my cameraman. <laughs> Hey, like he got he, like bumped into or something yes. and lost his mind. Yes. <laughs> he got ejected from a celebrity beach ball. Yes, it doesn't happen. But <laughs> the, the cameraman got bumped from behind. He bumped right into Lil Wayne, who is Lil, by the way. 
And he turned around, and I thought they were going to fight. And the cameraman didn't do anything wrong. Somebody pushed him, and I think the camera lens maybe hit the back of Lil Wayne's head. He turned around. I'm going, what is going on here? <laughs> They're going to throw him out of a beach bowl. I think he needed a bowl. I, th- I think that would have mellowed him out. Nice. Yeah, okay. thank you. Bloop, bloop. bloop. Yeah. Yeah, he had a different beach bowl. Like bloop, it, bloop, bloop, bloop. Yes, Todd. And for those keeping score at home, I was doing a little research. Deal or no deal, uh, cases 11 and 24. Megan Markle was very involved with those two particular numbers. That's uh, the most research you've done <laughs> in a much. while. In months. Yeah.